Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theater. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Six rounds among light heavyweights, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Come on, kid. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. He clinches when he gets to the inside. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. A well-targeted jab that time. And that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside. Something to keep you away from your opponent. Able to dismiss it. Vicious is showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Not much action as he just ties up. Halfway through this round. Blocks that punch. And a right hand lands flush. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. You see him holding on. Vicious's punch didn't come close. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Vicious's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Seconds of round number one. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Vicious is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged chances, because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his guy, head he's right? starting to get you discouraged. Just know, say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Here we go. Round two is underway. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Good way to protect the midsection. Able to block and counter back. Solid hook. 
not hitting his mark there going upstairs. wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. Halfway through round number two. <laughs> that right hand serving him well. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Well placed left hand there. He scored well after being hit himself. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Brings the hook that time. Vicious his defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Well, he's trying to keep up a heck of a work rate here. Vicious is punching himself out at this point. Yeah, and that's not the worst part of it. The worst part of it is going to be if his opponent notices. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bid. He's confident. Start throwing more in volume in there. Throw in volume. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. <laughs> Trying to go downstairs, but off target. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. And he just holds on there. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Oh, he just misses with that headshot.
why is his opponent struggling so much here? Why can he not land a clean headshot? Well, one reason is his opponent is moving his head. He's doing a good job of being elusive, but there's no change. He's just throwing straight, naked punches at him. He needs to make a little adjustment, a little adaptation. He needs to feint a little bit, get a false movement, get him out of position, get him off balance, and then time him a little bit. He keeps just throwing at him. He's gonna keep doing what he's doing, move air around. Well placed double jab. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Still not moving enough. And that's the end of round three. Don't stand in front of him. You're doing fine. He's just... All right, listen. Stop waiting on him. All right? You're waiting on him. I don't, I mean, I don't know what you're doing. Don't wait on this kid. Put your jab in his face and keep it there. Shorten your punches up. We came here to work. Start of round number four, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Piercing jab. You see the skill he has in counterpunching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. I really like what he's doing here. I mean, if you were to pick any one piece of weaponry that you say aligns with what he is strategically as a fighter, it is the jab, and he's firing it off beautifully. And he's firing it off consistently all night at the right distance. He's getting full extension on that punch, and that's making him effective offensively and safe defensively. He's out of the other fighter's range. Keep working the body. He missed with that headshot. Keep working up. Double up. Double up your punch. More move. Head move. Halfway through round number four. Now he brings the left hand upstairs. Keep on Hook! Hook! Keep moving! Keep moving! There you go. <laughs> Vicious is finding out right now that this counter-punching style is not getting the results he needs in these middle rounds. What is the answer? Well, when a guy's not coming in and walking in, you can't counter-punch. I mean, he's not, he's not giving you the kind of turf that you need. Now you have to find a way to create your offense, to lead a little bit. That starts with the jab, getting off first. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Unable to score with the hook. 
end of the round is upon us. And we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you're searching to those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. They start up again. Back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Keep doing what you're doing. Way to block there. Really frustrating his opponent now as he's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an open. to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. That's it. Distance such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shotted. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You're jabbing at the head, you're not finding nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little. Vicious is hit by a counter punch there. And round five comes to an end. I think even the casual observer, the guy who doesn't watch a lot of boxing, can look at this right now and tell you he's winning this fight with ease. Yeah, I'm not worried about the casual observer. I'm worried about the so-called professional judge. Time and time again, he showed me that he does not know what he's watching sometimes. But you're right. In this case, it would be hard, almost impossible, to argue for the other fighter. Lead to the side and boom! They put forth a good effort throughout. Now one more meeting. The final round is here. Vicious is using a lot of energy just by throwing so many punches, but he's not getting much out of all this effort at all. No, he's working much too hard. That's a good point there. He's working really too hard for what he's getting done. 
He has to now start to educate himself, start to, you know, place those punches in the right spot. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Just a minute and a half left in the fight. A minute to go in the fight. <laughs> left and right, left and right. He just missed that shot up top. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing, is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part, is let your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. Completely one-sided fight, at least that's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean, if you saw it any other way, you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight, kind of like on a pack of cigarettes, you know. This could be hazardous to your health. I mean, these guys could be hazardous to your career if they scored any other way. Here's the official decision. Seemed like he was destined to win throughout the fight. Teddy, your scorecard showed that, and the judges agree, unanimous decision. Yeah, he was destined to win because he kept using that jab all night long and outworking his opponent. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time at the fights.